today we are going to give you the most current update concerning the construction of the new government house road and uh, we are going to move down to you know the certain place that we've not been before and uh, we discovered uh, some things concerning that place one is that we reached to the point of uh, where the river is and uh, secondly we discovered the, the place or the areas that uh, this road is going to connect the road is going to connect to ifite though some people have made that uh, observations and uh, it's going to connect also from the very back of this road so these are the two places As usual, we are going to show you the direction of where we are going. And uh, like I said, we are going to the construction site of the new government house at uh, Oka, Anambra State of Nigeria. So this is Aroma. We are going to take left. Once we take left, we are going to face as if you are going to each other then we divert right it's a very simple movement that uh, is not uh, mistaken now uh, we've entered the road that goes down to the government house yes um in one or two of my videos i've made mention of these lines here yeah, these double lines it has meaning you see how vehicles are packed inside that line no one comes outside if they see you park outside that line that vehicle is in trouble then you are in for it and after that line you can now you know park your vehicle or stop and uh, do whatever you want to do so but anywhere you see that line don't leave your tires on that line or outside that line that is the meaning of it. It's just to avoid and to checkmate incessant uh, parking on the road, which is not uh, good. Then you can see um, this is the road that leads to the new government house. You can see bushes there having such uh, uh, grasses and bushes within a city is not good. And we are yet to see actions or what happens to people that does that in Anambra State, in our city centers. So these are the areas that uh, needed attention. And uh, you can see that the road is uh, a bit neater, unlike what it used to be. Well, I said kudos to those that are involved in uh, getting the road to be neat but um just to a certain level so we are moving down to the government house road that is under construction now and we are going there to see honestly speaking i have not made this place like this today is extremely neat very very neat this is the way it's supposed to be constant uh, packing of it I don't know, like I said earlier, the people in charge of waste, which is environment, I think that what they should do is to reduce the jurisdictions for these guys. It's as if uh, the work is overwhelming for them. So uh, they should reduce the, the areas that they cover and uh, employ more people as engage more waste management uh, companies. That is the only way we can get our cities to be neat that's what i believe engage more companies reduce the areas that these guys manage you can come down to three four streets to uh, you know one of the agencies uh, as one of the companies to so with that you know people can have waste within their premises as in inside their compound they can have this waste and uh, in the number of days that uh, the people that are going to pack it you know comes around they will just hand it over to them 
is because they don't cover these areas you know in real time they don't cover these areas as quickly as possible that's why that system of uh, you know living waste at home until these people comes they will to hand it over to them that's why it did not work because this waste you know they dump it and uh, these guys don't come earlier to pack them yes uh, this thing occurred to me now and i decided to voice it out because the md uh, Akda, Oka Capital Threat and Development Agency, he said it in the time that we visited him that they tried it as in living waste at home until these guys comes to pack the waste. So he said that they, they tried it and uh, it didn't work. You know, when they tried it, that people that uh, they are afraid they may not uh, stay at home to meet these people when they come, so they will come and dump this waste on the street. And uh, he said that everywhere became little ground. Yes, that is uh, in response of that. What I'm saying now is that it became a little ground because the people packing it are not effective. Probably they have large number of areas to cover within a space of uh, five to uh, maybe eight hours you can see so but if we have more of them they can quickly come out and uh, cover these areas even if they dump this waste in front of uh, their houses on that particular day these people you know they can easily come around within a space of one hour or two hours to pack everything and go which is not bad then i believe that uh, i've made this point to be very clear okay so um uh, let's proceed you are look, looking at the government house this is the view of the new government house that is under construction the same thing the same story see grasses very unkept this kind of scene is not good you know and uh, like i said government should ensure that uh, they do their own part in an in exemplary way you know so that people will look at them and uh, and uh, emulate them that is the point because all these places belongs to the government all of them both left and right if i'm not mistaken down there is the federal secretariat so is all these places in short belong to the federal government belongs to the government rather as state government so that is the point you know i i've said this thing before and uh, it occurred to me again and i'm saying it there should be an exemplary way of doing things you know a pace being set by the government and who is that individual that will not do the right thing? Let's see the person. So that is the point I'm making. But as we are talking, let's uh, you know be moving down towards the government house so that we can have a better view of uh, the road construction that is going on now. Yes, viewers, uh, we are at, uh, in front of a government house. There's a new government house under construction. That is where we are. And uh, this edge is uh, the drainage close to Federal Secretariat Fence. Uh, I decided to zoom this place, although I don't know what that means. But it has to do with uh, the distance or gap or whatever. So, but... 
like I said, uh, and like we got information, the road is going to be a dual carriageway. But as they said, it's not going to be dual carriageway completely. At certain point, it's going to be narrowed down. Except if it is, a, or if there is a contrary information as against that, but that is the info we got concerning this uh, road construction. So this place is exactly the entrance gate by the left there. That is where you enter the gate into the new government house. That is, uh, this area now is near the fence of the Federal Secretariat. Where they are still yet to conclude the gutters and the drainage system that is going to help this road to last longer. Because that is the point of having gutters both left and right. But it's just that the gutters are still the same, you know, very open and uh, there is no difference. This is the government house road. Well, um, let's see how it goes. So you can see the width of the road, you know, very spacious, uh, it has a lot of uh, width. So but we are going further down there, we want to see the level of the job done so far. Last time we visited, these places are not yet concluded this way. So now this is the current situation of the road. And uh, I bet you that um, very soon this road is going to be done and dusted. You know, with the way and the level of work I've seen so far, usually it's gutter, gutters and uh, laterite is uh, what normally cause problems, as in delays. Once these are done, then we move straight to stone beds and the uh, application of asphalt. Those uh, areas, those um, job levels are not uh, that disturbing. You know, they are not like uh, the, the drinking of drainages and uh, the application of uh, laterite and the rest of them. So we are moving further inside. We want to see where this road, uh, you know, ends today. Like I promised you guys, we are moving further to see where this road terminates and then uh, we are going to see the little swampy area that needs uh, a bridge or whatever they want to do there you know it needs it so that uh, vehicles can be moving down to Obuno that's the back of Obuno so but we are going to see Obuno from here from this road now we are going to see Obuno live the back of Obono, we are going to see it and we are going to see if it is from here, you know, if it is not far by the right side, inside, by the right hand side, that is where if it is located. So these two places, I'm going to show you them. So viewers, uh, we are still moving towards the other side of this road and uh, I said I will show you where the road is going to narrow down to one lane, you can see. Just observe the, the wideness of this place and 
around this place now this place i'm going to show you now the road narrowed down somewhere here you see you can see the width of the road very well but somewhere here this road narrowed down so but um it may not be true actually that uh, it's going to end here the dualization because i will still show you down there how that place is but before we get down there i still want to believe that the area down there can still be dualized because it still has a, a reasonable space the road is still spacious reasonably to be considered a dual carriageway that's the entire road and that is my point so viewers uh, let's keep going towards our taxis we want to see where this road ends today So viewers, you see the points, observe this side of the road, observe this area very well. You will see that the road is narrower here. But reasons that made it to be narrower is what I don't know. But still, this road can be divided into two. Uh, but um, it may not give that spacious uh, expected the spacious road that is being dualized that's why we concluded and uh, i still want to stand by what i said earlier the information that we received that uh, from that side down there is not going is not going to be dual carriageway and that is the point Well, uh, I observed that uh, since we have been moving on this road, we've not seen any worker at sight. So, but let's move down a bit. Maybe we can see them down there. And that is uh, to be sure that they are not on sight. Though there are so many things can, that can make them not to be on sight. So, but let's go down there and see if uh, they are walking down there. So, but viewers, if you have not subscribed to Younger Life channel, please click on the subscription button, the notification bell, and uh, like this video. Don't forget to share this video. And we are waiting to hear from you about the road under construction. That is what you think concerning the video that you've just watched. And uh, we are waiting for you at the comment section so let's keep going you know like i said we are going to have a view we are going to have the direction of if it if it is not far from here like i said as soon as we move down towards this hill then um, we'll see and you can sight some part of uh, if it from here 
and um, if you move down a bit again you look at the back of uh, Obuno where that road is going to connect well uh, the contractor handling this project is uh, Geld Geld is the one handling the project and Geld is the people that is constructing the overpass at uh, Ifite 2 so um, and they have other projects they are doing in Anambra State So now we are here down here. I think uh, this is where they walked last uh, along this road. But you can see that uh, no one is on site. But um, upon uh, further inquiries, uh, we discovered that uh, they have gone for you know a break. The break is not just an hourly break they went on recess probably uh, some few days before they will resume probably like a week or so that is what uh, we are told but the reason could be another thing also you know i wonder the kind of uh, break that uh, they will go this period you know there is no celebration and they are going on break well, um, I don't need to, you know, uh, start, uh, you know, forecasting what I don't know. There's no need for that, and uh, we are here to cover what is happening. You observe here now; they have to level up this uh, mountain. They reduced it. They reduced it to give um, a better. Uh, what do I call it, to reduce the, to give it a better level, to give the road a better level. Well, this trailer has an accident here. We were told that the trailer fell, break, and is carrying uh, interlocks, the, the material they use for interlock. So the vehicles just turned over here and uh, crashed. So that is it. So like I said, they reduced the the hilly side of this road, it was reduced a bit and uh, to make it more straightened, they are going to, you know, add more um, laterite on the culvert that they've constructed. We are going down there, you see the culvert, the big culvert, you know, once they raise it, they raise the road up from that place then you are going to have a better and a smoother road. That is the idea. So now, um, gentlemen and ladies, there is uh, a usual traffic that uh, motorists pass through here. You can see the tires of vehicles. This place is a usual way of movement and it comes out from the right side. So that right, you see this place, right goes inside. And uh, I think there's another one down there. They are all going to Ifite. The connection of this place moves down to Ifite. You know, Ifite, uh, Ifite has the upper, upper Ifite and the down Ifite. So this area now, it goes and come out from uh, that down Ifite side. 
that is it so if you move down a bit i will show you the back of Obuna. Man, um i wish to let you know that uh, there is no bush in anambra state uh, i want to believe that uh, probably if there is any bush it's just very very few places anywhere you go you must see houses you know built so i don't expect to see no much around here but i see places where people build their houses within this back so by the time this road is ready you will see things will start happening here almost immediately you can see the big drainage the the that thing looks like uh, clay it's smelling like clay like clay that's normal olo it smells like olo that's why i had to touch it to you know know what uh, it feels like So now um, you can see it this is just the base this covert is going to rise from the base up it's going to be on top because they want to lift this road to uh, above the normal ground level so that's why they have to cast it you know taking it up as if they are building a house so when the other one comes down from that hilly part, he's going to level it up a bit. So that is the idea behind it. Then this point again is another busy area, busy road rather that uh, if the people usually comes out from there. If you follow it down there, you are going to come out at uh, Ifite. So, but uh, we are hearing noise, uh, machine noise, excavator noise, and we saw some laterite and uh, sharp sand together with uh, stones. So, we decided to move closer to be sure of what is happening, and we discovered that 
that uh, you know they are trying to clear a water channel natural water channel where the river passes and uh, probably like i said there could be a a bridge or whatever that can let people to fly across that uh, little water to move down to obono So now um, this is uh, you are looking at Obuno from back. That place you saw now is Obuno. If it uh, is by the right side, why this side by the left down up 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 there is uh, Obuno. That is the way it is down here. If you are yet to subscribe to Yanga Life channel, please click on the subscription button now. The notification bell, like this video, share this video. Don't forget to drop your comments because we need to hear from you. Thank you. So you can see the water very well here and uh, during rainy season this place I bet you will be something else. It will be bigger than this and um, you know probably they want to control this place and uh, if possible have a bridge over it because that is the problem. That is the, uh, the issue they are having, you know, um, uh, connecting back of Obono and uh, this road. So, but ours is to always give you updates. Let's wait and see if they are going to embark on the construction of uh, the flyover or bridge or covert or whatever they want to call it. So that this road can have a better connection and of course there is no way this road will connect Obuno without having such you know bridge around here there is no way because vehicles cannot uh, cross this river going towards uh, Obuno
Well, uh, we are done with that uh, site and uh, we are glad that we saw what is happening there. You know, unlike before, we we'll terminate our movement up there. So what well, today, I'm glad that I saw it and I've seen the connection to Ifite and Obuno uh, using this road. Yes, uh, we are having our reverse view, but it's just a very short uh, reverse view for some important places. So like I said, uh, all these places, there are buildings inside them as against my expectations. So well, that is the uh, number for you. Well, uh, there are still enough work to be done at this axis. The drainage is going to come down. And uh, thank God that they have a river or a little whatever where the water, the drainage can be channeled into. So it's an advantage. This is that unfortunate uh, incident by that trailer. So that failed break, I learned that it failed break and had to um, crash here. That is the information I received. So you can still observe here again, the road is narrow here, but uh, dividing it here, I don't know how it will look like, 
this is just the back of the government house and that place is inside is inside the government house see the road is narrow here but once you go a little bit up there you see it becomes bigger well there is no need speculating we will wait and see what happens But if you watch from here, just I will show you a little bit down there. From there, you will see the road very big. So to support uh, what they told me that um, the dualization will end here. So you can see now from here. From somewhere here now the road becomes bigger it's bigger from here So viewers, uh, we are nearing the end of this video, but if you have not subscribed to Yanga Life channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video and share it. Don't forget to drop your comments because your comment is vital to what we are doing. Thank you.
so but with uh, this i come to the end of this video until i come your way next time i'm still chinedu your presenter and i said bye for now